Using fictional situations, this video explains how to create your password and access your online file. After logging into your online file, you can apply for financial assistance and change your password if needed. Go to the afe.gouv.qc.ca website. You are now on the online services login page. Before continuing, note that throughout the process of creating your file, you can use the help keys by clicking on the question marks. If this is the first time you use our online services, click on New Registrant. Here is how to set up your online file. Step 1. Enter your social insurance number, date of birth, and email address in the New Registrant window. Then click on Next. Step 2. You are now on the validation code page. AFE simultaneously emailed you a validation code needed to create or change your password. Go to your email box, find your code and enter it in the validation code field. Then click on Next. If you did not receive the AFE email, check your spam box. If you still cannot locate the AFE email, click on Send a new validation code. Or click on Quit, then begin your registration from the start and enter a valid email address. Step 3. On the next page, choose your password. Then click on Submit. Your password is now active and you can use it to access your online file on the Connect to Online Services page. Select your user profile. Now enter your permanent code and password to access your online file. Then click on Submit. For security reasons, you will be asked to confirm your identity the first time you access your online file. Once in your online file, click on the Full-Time Forms tab to fill out your application for financial assistance under the Full-Time Loans and Bursaries program. If you forget your password, Click on Have you forgotten your password on the Connect to Online Services page. Confirm your identity using your SIN and date of birth. Click on Next. To have a new validation code sent to your email address, enter your validation code and click on Next. Choose a new password and click on Submit. Your new password is now active and you can use it to access your online file. Finally, note that contact information window will be displayed once a month to remind you to keep your information up to date in case anything has changed. By keeping your contact information up to date, you will avoid potential inconvenience, contact information errors, could lead to the suspension of payments from Aide Financière aux Études.